Okay, we're back. Where are we going? Council room or library? I uh, feel room. like the council room is the obvious one. That's uh, room. All right, council room. We'll go with obvious. What the fuck will we go to the library for? Because it gave us that option, which makes me think something happens. The council room is wrapped up in an unusually serious atmosphere. As if the robbery weren't enough, there was even a bombing. Out of those two, the latter is almost certainly Fucking the more worrying. Terrorism. Is this me? Yeah, it's me. Have a of me! Oh, Ryoto, good morning. As you can see, Sakia has magnificently recovered the flag he raised the other day, as expected of an aristocrat. Ah, yeah! That was definitely first class flag retrieval. I don't still understand know what that means yet. He certainly got me looking at the thefts more seriously. I don't know what that means. I don't understand that either. Don't oh, worry. Now then, on to the crime scene. Whoa. Sakya's flawless security has been completely destroyed. What security? I don't see anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were this, like, fucking weird pigeon. Fucking <laughs> New Orleans pigeon. What is this, Lost? What is this loss in the loss loss lunacy lo lo lunacy <laughs> lunacity? <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that the bombing school, that the bombing school buildings is a common practice in this barbaric land? Um, no, I don't think it is. I've never seen anything like this before. This is beyond the pale. Who conceived this wretched plot? Who? 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 Ah, sorry. Sorry about that. I was mocking you. Wasn't your security perfect, Sakia? I thought you said it was com a completely new level compared to our primitive concepts. Fuck you, plebeian. It was perfect. Uh. All around the door, at least. What kind of rascalians blew their way through a wall if they're going to break in? Why not act with some semblance of decency and come through the front door? Probably a plebeian. Blowing up the window isn't exactly a common way of forcing an entry, but isn't it a little bit of a problem that the only security was at the front door? Did you see the criminals in all, Sakia? Well, would she? Or he? No, I too only learned upon this arriving at the school this morning. Plebe. But... Look, look at that. He, he gestures at the corner by the window. There's a pile of blackened stuff on the floor. What is that? Wait, is that the Christmas tree? <laughs> or what's left of it? Looks like it got blown up along with the window. I was wondering if something had happened to the tree. It was right next to the window and the wall and the sweat drop. Anyway, uh, that got blown up after all. That kind of rhymed. Nothing, nothing left but ashes. They've left a criminal ultimate. What the fuck? Wait a They've left a criminal ultimatum next to it. An ultimatum? They haven't done that before, have they? Let's take a look. <laughs> Hold on, let me just try. Merry Christmas! We Merry, Merry Christmas! We're Merry Christmas! We're really sorry! Merry Christmas! The tree went boom! Sorry! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <gasps> um... We oopsied. We're very sad. The tree went boom. Sorry. It's a little lonely, but we're taking Mr. Sparkly Star. Where Merry Christmas. Not in here. 
Where, where, where the fuck you infer that? That's the ultimatum. It reads more like a kid's note apologizing for breaking Andre Mildred's antique vase. Huh. Those scoundrels. They took the tree topper, the most valuable part, and ran. Tree topper. The star that sits on top, on the very top of the tree. Oh, I don't know anything about Christmas. So that's what that's called. They destroyed the tree and stole the topper. This is a dreadful affront to my illustrious name. I swear I shall seek them, find them, and impose upon them the strict judgments. That would be vigilantism, Sakuya. Japan is a constitutional nation. You can't do that. But it's not as if I don't see where he's coming from. If I spent that much time and effort decorating something just to have someone blow up the room it's standing in, I'd be pretty angry too. Mr. Urshara's tree stolen, Sakuya's tree reduced to cinders, and the topper stolen. We have to make sure these tragedies don't repeat. But... We can't really find the culprits just from this apology, or Christmas card, or ultimatum, or whatever it is. Let's ask, let's ask Mr. One! Oh yes, he's coming back. If he saw anything, he's on the night shift, so he should have been here. Oh, good plan. Lead us there, dogfish, you pleb. Stop treating me like your underling, you, sat you satan pants prairie chicken. Satin pants, Perry chicken. I heard that. You two go ahead. I'll stay here and see if I can find any more clues. Yes. See you in a while, Ryota. It's awfully cold in here. I guess with a hole that large in the wall, I might as well be outside. Doctor, he won't. He won't mind. I hadn't expected to see you here. You're, you're, you're absolutely playing fat bird. Okay, let me just think about this. <laughs> you're, you're like 10 out of like 10, Mike. Also, this could be your Dorito eating character. <laughs> I think that's oh. fucking... <clears throat> I came to see the corpse. What corpse? Where'd you hear there was a corpse? Oh. The corpse. Well, here I have my hopes up. Please don't say that with such a genuinely dejected look on your face. Well, no matter. It still looks quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Please don't mind me. I have no intentions of interfering with you. I have no reason to tamper with the evidence. Just yet. <laughs> Alone with the doctor in a oh half collapsed room. I hope I make it out of here alive. I hate myself. Why? I did the ho ho ho, but you know how? Okay, you know what I made when the girls do the ho 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 with the hand gesture? I did the hand gesture and everything. <laughs> Excuse us. What is this depressing room? It's the it's, oh, the, it's, it's the maintenance office. Mister One's night quarters are here too. I think it's comfy. It feels very lived in. Comfy? That's what a plebeian would say. Let's us do whatever we are here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility rubs off on me. I'm saying all the big words. <laughs> Reprehensibility, yeah. That's... Mr. One! Are you in here? Well, it's you again. I don't even remember what I did for this one. I think, I think I took over for this one. Yeah, I did. 
Salutations, mon ami. Did you come to visit me? Yuya? Oh, I guess that's... Okay, yeah, one one was the bird. The brat. Oh, yeah, he was the fucking yeah. walker. He's sitting at a low tea table. How low? How low is the table? He's a bird! Oh, no. The irresponsible and slightly worn out Yuya might just be a little too attractive. What? Of all the birds so far, our care just... You're up. You're I... Sakya. I knew it's a place as disgusting as this is bound to draw disgusting company. A very fine morning to you, too, Sakya. We came here to talk to Mr. One. What brought you here, Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while One is out. Out? Immediately after the break-in? Uh, is that my character? Oh, yeah, shit, sorry. I thought that said my name. Suspicious indeed. I suggest we apprehend him at the first opportunity, the plebe. You misunderstand. He's taking care of a few things, so our investigation of the thefts can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw... Yuya and Mon. You saw the crime in progress. W what? We did indeed. It's not easy being a hero of justice. Troubles always seem to find you. But... Why did you not notify me immediately? <laughs> you filthy mongrel pleb. Jesus, fuck this character. Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months, and you always blow me off. Ugh. Did you see the culprits, Yuya? Yes. Fearsome foes indeed. Stick your beaks too far into this, and you could lose them. Don't say I haven't warned you. <laughs> How like you mongrel cower in this filthy hover out of fear? I, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. I too swear to retrieve the stolen trees on my honor as a ga hunter gatherer. How brave of you. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. Who you picks up a, uh, picks up one of a number of photographs, lined up on the table, and holds it out to us. They were already on their way out when I arrived at the scene. Alas, I was unable to keep their trail. But I am professional, and I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on film. I feel like his voice would be more heroic. These are the culprits. <laughs> wow, we called this as soon as we fucking saw them! <gasps> what are those? Th oh, that's you. Uh, that, what, what are those things? Plebs? White things. <gasps> See? The shock, even a bold lady of hunter gatherer origin. They shock, okay. That's not it. That's not it, Yuya! I know these creatures. Oh, are they friends of yours? Who are they and where do they live? Tell me this instant, you pleb! I don't know who they are exactly. <clears throat> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! You two. Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll take you to the employee's lounge. I say he does have rules. Merry Christmas! Did I just reuse? Is this a movie? Did we just reuse a scene? You have flashback, Kyle. You have flashback. Those are the two things who got scolded by the security guard in High Society Seagull Department Store. Aren't they? They were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of the department store yesterday and got taken away by security. What in? Looks like they'll go after anything with Christmas on it. <laughs> Though I can sympathize with their enthusiasm for the Holy Night. We thought 
that they were only going after easy targets, but it looks like once they got once they get their sight on something, they won't rest until it's theirs or destroyed. The entire city is filled with Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they'll strike next. And no way of ambushing them, Lebs. Not necessarily. We could lure them e e with e easily with an extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I agree with you, yeah. I think we should try to bait them. Then it's settled. The best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Right, Sakuya? The finest tree in town? Do you know of a good one, Sakuya? Are you seriously suggesting suggesting we use the Elbel family's tree, Christmas tree, as Allura, you mongering oriental uh, pleb? Of course! Given how much work he put into the council room tree, he almost certainly has a gorgeous and decadent tree at home. It seems like the best choice. And you aren't about to just let them get away with having burned your other tree, are you? Of course not! Where is your tree set up? Uh, where is your tree set up, Sakya? In the main saloon. It's not visible from the outside. It would take a great. I, I see, Kyle. <laughs> I see. I take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. I do not think it's a realistic option, Pleb. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and word of mouth then. The LaBelle family moved here to Linden Nove, Hockeymoon City from France, is displaying a gor its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public, or something like that. Who's it anything about opening the mansion to the public? Only riffraff, slow society scum in there? Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas here, after all, and it should help spread the LaBelle family reputation. <laughs> Come on, Sakia. Open up to the whole city. Let everybody know you have an extraordinarily decorated Christmas tree at home. The thieves should hear the rumors and they'll come to see, and then we can catch them. Very well, I shall assist. Plebs. Cool. I'll get everything ready for an announcement in the evening papers. Something like LaBelle's family's Christmas tree is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas duty is welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounds good. But what kind of super high school student are you to have that much clout in local newspaper companies? Any male dove would become would become super for a lady as lovely as yourself, mon ami. I shall be Are off then, also French? a Jew. I have no idea. I have no clue. Loose tongue curl? Pleb. Yeah, basically. Yuya is laying the bait for us, so... Should we work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house? Sagia? A reasonable suggestion. We shall plan our next strategy after school, then, Pleb. It's still midday, but the wind is cold. At least today was a half day. It would be freezing in here if it were already evening. Why are we having this meeting in here, Sakia? Isn't it obvious? Because it's my domain. I have the power here. Your do your domain. Though despoiled? Scum! You do mock me? There is no despoiled in the dictionary of L Bells! Whatever. Let's just make our plan already. Fucking plebs! Sakia is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. They used explosives here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? They might pretend to be normal guests and sneak in the front entrance. They might, yes. But their goal is the tree, so even if they get inside... 
they will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photographs show them be quite small, and there's no way of the two of them could carry it out. How could they get in, uh, get it outside, then? I think they would need some sort of heavy machinery. Like a crane. Or a bigger pleb. A.K.A. a large bird. So do you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Any sp suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. With no prejudice. So... We need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. The mansion's open at 7! Should we be there this evening, too? Well, yes. That should help things go more smoothly. I'm I'll see you two there, again. then. We'll need to catch these thieves before Christmas itself arrives. I still have some time before I go to Sakia's house. Not quite enough to go home myself. What should I do? Unless Maybe I should here. go pick up some sort of weapon in town? Didn't yes. Anghel say something about one of the old shops in town starting to stock Excalibur? What? Maybe the I should sword go there. Or gun. Hmm? A familiar figure <laughs> emerges oh, from the chemistry lab. Chips! <laughs> Doctor? Ah, uh, it isn't Miss Dogfish. You're so class already, yes? What business do you have here? I was just heading home. What about you, sir? He appears to be trying to hide a large rack of test tubes he's carrying. I'm doing some tests. To confirm some things. To think I would only get access to these samples now is simply unreasonable. He looks genuinely displeased. Has he ever been this openly emotional before? Maybe the tests went badly. Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but cheer up, sir. I'm sure something good will come of it. Good. That's the last thing I want. And with that blunt remark, he heads off towards the infirmary. I wish I could share some of my cheerfulness with him. I have so much I could brush my teeth on with it. That's weird. Oh, the fun. Now me with dogfish. Yes, sir. He stops and turns around. Do you have any food allergies? I'm allergic to Doritos. Uh, that sucks to um, be you. Allergies? Like the peanuts or fish? The uh, soybeans. For instance. No, I don't. I don't think I do, at least. Uh, so. I don't think the Doritos are also spitting out as he's hot. <laughs> he walks away, a self-satisfied expression on his face. You need to explain why you're asking, sir. If you just walk away looking pleased like that, you'll get reported. What? Reported by what? Holiday Ew. Star! We'll have more of it next time.